are you? Well, I was supposed to be in a collaboration, right? With Peep This Y'all. And that is when the computer got upgraded and it threw off my SD card where it wouldn't read it. I didn't know that at the time that it's because it got um, upgraded. They just automatically do it, right? So I was so upset because I really wanted to, you know, be in this with her and the other ladies. Okay, so this is what I made when I thought I was going to be in that. <laughs> it's a faux apple pie. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay, everything got deleted on my SD card. All of me making this. So I'm not going to make another big one, but I am going to make a smaller one. So I'm going to bring you along and do the same process, but only with a couple small ones, okay? So I am going to stay true to that collab, although it's late. All right, so let's get started with the dough, which is a salt dough, which is two cups flour, one cup salt, and one cup of cold water. So I'll be back in just one minute and we'll get this together. Here we go. I have a half cup here. So we need two cups flour, which means it's going to be four of these because it's a half a cup, right? And this won't go to waste because I'll make uh, cookies, Christmas cookies out of the dough left over. So four of these makes two cups because it's a half a cup, right? And then and then one cup regular table salt. This is old salt and old flour. I kept it deliberately knowing I was going to make this so I didn't have to buy anymore. Why bother, right? I'm not going to use good flour. I don't know about table salt if it's really different, but... Okay. Then I'm going to mix this up before I put the water in. So I thought, oh, you know what, I'm just going to go through the thing. I had all of this filmed, you guys. All of it filmed. <laughs> and then I lost it all. Gotta love it. Oh, well. At least we can do it again, right? Gotta look at the positive. I got it figured out. keep stirring this until I get the uh, flour all incorporated and then I'll bring it back when we start to roll it out. Okay, so I have different size pie tins. Now we're going to make a couple of the little tart pans. And I can make one apple. You can make whatever you want because you're not going to see the inside of it. So whatever, whatever you want it to be, this is easily could have been a cherry pie, a peach pie, depending on what you put on the top of this. And for this, I put real dried apples, which was in the first, uh, it was in the first video. All I did is I took real apples and I have a video on it. And I'll try to find it and put it in the description box. But I took real apples, put them in lemon juice and water, and then I put them in the dehydrator. So these are real. Or you could do fake bake, you know, um, with clay, whatever you want. So this pie could be whatever you want. It's what you put on top of it that makes it the pie of your choosing. Okay, so I'm going to divide this because I'm not going to need all of it because I'm going to use the other half for cookies. 
So I'm going to put it back in the bowl and I'm going to put a wet paper towel over this to keep it from drying out. Like that. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And it feels just like dough that you would make to make a pie, right? So now we're just going to put a little flour on this. And I want a pretty thin crust. I don't want anything really thick. And what we're going to do, as far as the tins, let me wash my hands again. You guys, if I ever got a craft room, if I could build one, it would have a sink in it, believe me. That's why I do a lot of this downstairs, because <clears throat> I need to wash my hands all the time. I also got this from Hobby Lobby, and it's for pies. It's in the cake section. And I found that this one in the middle works really good. So I'm going to try this. And if it's too big for that, we may go with this one. Okay? Because I don't do a good, uh, you know, the rim of the crust. I just don't do a good one. That's it. Angie, go lay down. Can you hear Angie? She's in here sniffing around. <laughs> okay, now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take some aluminum foil, just get it from the Dollar Tree. What you're going to do is you're going to come in. And you're just going to put this in there. You're going to pretend like this is your apples, right? I'm going to roll this out just a little bit more. Looks like little apples popping out there. Just like you would if it was a real pie. Because of the heat, it's hot here. It's already drying. I can feel the texture of it, so I so I have to get these on there. That's what ni that's what's nice about these is you don't have to worry about doing the room yourself. Okay, so now we're going to take the leftovers here. That looks too big. I think I might have to use this. I hope this works. I haven't tried this one, but you just come in and you put your dough. And you would do this if you were making a real pie, right? This part I'm not going to do on camera the whole way because it's just going to take up too much 
space on my card and I'm sure you don't need to see this. You're just putting it in here. When I'm done doing that, we'll bring it around and put it on the pie crust. It is so humid here that it was hard to get this out of the pink. This did not work at all. It, I, I don't know if it's the heat. I don't know what it is. So I went ahead and used the one I used for the big one. The rim of the pie crust. But I'll show you what I did when I come in to finish this. You just come in like before and you just put it into the mold. This isn't going to be enough. I need to do one more. You just got to be patient. You got to form it into that mold shape, right? to bring over here okay all right so now I'll let this dry and then we're going to paint it. Okay? Because that is what this looked like before I got done. Okay, we're back in the craft room. Our pies are dry. Okay? They're all dry. Now we're going to paint them. I also have some of the leaves and apples. These were made out of the salt dough and these were made when I made my big pie where I lost all my footage that I told you guys about. But here's our apple and we'll use maybe a half and a little one here so you'll know that we are making apple pie. If it was a peach pie you could put a peach up there blueberry, whatever the pie is, you'll show what kind of pie it is by what you put on top. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a little bit of yellow first, kind of base coat with some white if I can get it out. You know what, let's go with a lighter yellow. And I'm going to do some gel stain after I'm done. Let me be right back. I think what I'll use instead is I'm going to come in with Golden Glow. This is folk art, all acrylic paints. I won't come in with this part yet. This is raw sienna. This will be kind of on the rim because you know when you bake a pie how it's a little bit darker on the crust on the outside. And I think I'm going to mix these two together. So let's... You guys, I can't believe how thick these paints have gotten. What the heck? What is going on? Ah, oh, that irritates me.
This is cinnamon folk art. All these are folk art. I think I'll come in here with that one. Okay. for this to do the other. Okay. Shoot, that black got in there. Dog on it. That's all right, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's put it out here. We're better off out here. Okay. All right. Here we go. And then what I do is I come in and I take a little water because I don't want it to look, how do I say it? I want it to be more opaque, you know? Don't worry, I'm using different, uh, different uh, shades. See here how I put in some of the dark and the light. You don't want just a plain color. One plain color. And I'm going to mute this all down with water. I want to get in all those crevices. Plus, the water helps it uh, flow easier. making kind of a wash if you will and you could do that but I like the different do you see what I'm saying how it's not all one color like over here it's lighter here it's darker because I don't know about you when I bake cakes it really does get like that now I don't know if it's my oven if it's supposed to be that way but that's the way it is and that was those are real pies so now I'm just taking water coming from where I already painted Okay. And then we'll also paint the little leaves that we made out of the bread dough. Because that's what we would do if it was we were really doing a uh, pie. Okay, so here was it. Here's it. Bef here's what's. It, here's what it looks like before and then after. All right, now let's come in and take a little of the raw sienna. Again, I'm going to water it down. See that? See how much I've watered that down? Look at this compared to this. And I'm going to water it down even more. Okay. Then I'll come up into the one I did not water down just to make it a little bit darker and then we're going to take the water and lighten it up okay 
And I want to get this done before because it's very hot here today, guys. Very hot. And I don't want this paint to dry up. I'm coming in here now and I'm just... I made this a wash with a, some color and a lot of water. So what I'm doing now... is painting again. These are so easy and they would make adorable little gifts for a friend. Do a couple of these maybe a recipe for your apple pie on a pretty uh, recipe card. I want to get a different color going here. I don't want just one, remember. You got to give your stuff dimension when you're painting it. It looks more realistic than just painting it one color. Okay. I'm going to keep going here and then we'll start painting the leaves. Okay. Here's the other one. Okay my golden crust and now we're going to paint our leaves okay and we're gonna paint them to go with our pie just like you would if you were making a real pie so I'm gonna come in and paint our leaves because I want them a little bit different color a little bit And then you know what? I'm going to seal those apple slices with some. I think I want to. Well, maybe I'll do matte. I was going to do a semi gloss, but I guess I won't. Again, I don't want these to be all the same color. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of a lighter. Okay. Let that dry. Let's do a couple little ones. Okay. And when I'm done with these, I will be back and we'll put our apples and our leaves on and we'll be done with this collaboration that I'm late on, but I did want to fulfill my agreement on this because I was really looking forward to that collaboration and that's when my computer decided to not uh, recognize my SD card and the rest is history. <laughs> so I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Hey guys, here we go. My late Christmas in July fake bake apple pies made with salt dough, a pie tin, and aluminum foil with dried dehydrated apples and the leaves were made with the salt dough as well. Thank you so much for coming in and watching this. Peep this y'all. I got it done. It took me time but I got it done. And I will link Peep This Y'all to the actual collaboration so the other ladies will be seen as well. Guys, until we get together again, remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. There's only one you, and you bring something to this world nobody else can. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.